Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to be arranging a late spring arrangement. Um, I have an assortment here, um, a beautiful lavender colored lilac. It was here when we moved in, so I'm not sure which type it is, but it's just a beautiful muted color. I have a few of my Brunnera cuttings, some Icelandic poppies. I chose the creamy tones. I have orange growing as well, but I felt like a soft palette would be good for this one. I have some hellebore blooms, uh, some artemisia sprigs just to add some nice texture, and then some viburnum blossoms as well. So I think this will be a very fun, very natural, very muted uh, spring arrangement. I found this cute little vessel at a used store and already I put a chicken wire frog in the center which will just help me hold onto my uh, stems and just keep them in place. I always like to start with my foliage just to give it a little bit more of something to hold on to, establish sort of the um, establish the shape and size of my arrangement. It always makes for a good structure to start with. When choosing to cut your stems, a nice trick is just to hold it beside your vase to see what the length is going to be once you cut it. So that would be a good size. And then removing all of the lower leaves because they they will dirty up your water. For woody stems, it's helpful to do a cut up the center of the branch, just to make sure um, that branch is going to be absorbing water. So just cutting slightly up there will just help to make sure it is going to take up water. Next I'm going to be getting into my lilacs, again removing all the lower leaves, cutting up the stem. Another trick would be to smash the stems with a hammer on maybe a cutting board or on the grass. Um, ju you're just making sure that that woody stem can still absorb its water. When you're cutting your lilacs, it's important to cut them when three quarters of the blossoms have opened, and that will make sure that you have a long vase life, but also that it won't wilt. If you cut too early, it might wilt. If you cut too late, they might not last as long in the vase. And here are the Brunnera uh, blossoms from my Jack Frost Brunnera. So they're a nice little filler, but I felt like they do add just that tiny little bit of detail to the arrangement with that little soft blue color. The goal is to have big blossoms that sort of capture your attention, but then little details too that make your eyes just want to linger a little bit longer and notice all the different intricacies in your bouquet. Now for harvesting hellebore, the blossom actually becomes a little bit more simple once they have dropped their uh, seed pods. You can see that a few of them have, um, but the vase life is much longer after your hellebores have aged on the plant. So cutting them at this stage is great when you've got, when most of the seed pods have dropped, um, you can see one or maybe two seed pods are still existing on the plant but the majority have dropped, which is nice. They're reseeding in my garden as we speak. <laughs> um, but also it'll give you just the longest phase life. 
So there we go. If you're concerned about vase life and you haven't waited for your seed pots to drop, um, cutting up the stem again or slitting down your actual stem is a great practice as well. Now this is going to be a front facing arrangement so the back is not going to be the prettiest but it is rather empty so I just cut some of my apple branches and I'm just going to be placing them at the back here which will which will cover the back a little bit. Okay, and now for the final touch will be Icelandic poppies. And again, it'll just draw your eyes, sort of capture your attention and just add a really nice pop of white. Alright, I'm quite pleased with how that turned out. Unfortunately, I won't be keeping this in my house. My husband's a little bit sensitive to lilacs, but my daughter let me know that it is National uh, Give Flowers Away Day, so maybe I'll be gifting this to a friend or family member. Well, that is all for today. I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, it is so fun to get your hands on flowers, especially after a long winter, um, and just sort of be creative and just see the beautiful colors take in the scents and um, just really enjoy the spring season. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.